National Nurses Week continues, and tonight we're honoring hospice nurses. These nurses care for patients who are in the end of life stages, often from a terminal illness like cancer. Tonight, our Marcella Lee shares some of the new challenges they're facing during this pandemic. I still remember the hospice nurse that cared for my dad five years ago as he was dying of cancer. She was such a huge comfort to me and my mom, answering questions and telling us what we should expect. Hospice nurse Nicole Green says that's part of their job, to help support the family as well. But during the pandemic, that's become a bit more challenging. Yeah, I find that that is the most difficult part right now, that when I have a patient pass, I'm not able to physically comfort that family member who may need that type of support. As a hospice nurse, Nicole Green often becomes quite close to the families of her patients. You're in such a personal, intimate part of their life when it comes to end of life. But with restrictions on visitors and many families unable to travel, Nicole is now connecting families with their loved ones through an iPad or phone. It means even if the patient's not responsive, we'll still, uh, I'll put the family member on speakerphone or we'll do a FaceTime um, chat so that the family member can see the patient. And she has sat with patients, comforting them during those final hours through their final breath. Whether it's with touch, um, reading to them, humming a song, playing music that they like, uh, just being present with the patient and knowing that you're providing them that comfort or peace that they may need before they pass. Nicole works for Unicare Hospice and also has patients being cared for at home. Recently, an elderly man caring for his dying wife asked if she could bring them some groceries, afraid himself to go out and be exposed. It, it's heartbreaking because you want to do so much, but sometimes it's just the small things that you can help. I don't think anybody, just anybody, can be a hospice nurse. I think it's a special calling. I think it's more than a job. Beverly Clark's mom was a hospice nurse and is now in hospice care herself with late stage Alzheimer's. When the phone rings and I see it's the hospice nurse, I get very excited. <laughs> Beverly has been unable to visit for the past several weeks and says her mom's hospice nurse is a cherished lifeline. I'm so appreciative because I can't go and see her in person to get that phone call saying, I saw your mom today and you know, she's doing well and it, it means a lot. Nicole, a mom of three who did this interview from a hotel room, says COVID-19 does bring some additional challenges to her family life. As a mom and a wife and a nurse, I want to protect them as best I can. So I am social distancing. But she says she's committed to her patients and their families. I, I feel helpful because I can be there. Tomorrow marks the final day of Nurses Week. It celebrates Florence Nightingale's birthday. She was born on May 12, 1820. So 200 years later, we're gonna share the story of a new graduate nurse who's now working the front lines. What he says helped prepare him. Thank you, as Beverly said, hospice nurse, that's a special calling. We're grateful for what you do.